that was a disappointing turn of events for the Cavs. So that's a 5-1 yeah. score for the throw one team round one. So they get to actually now that they know what to expect, role. do you think uh, BR1 will do a similar tactic? Um, I'm hoping the seventh cap changes their tactic. I don't see why BR1 would bother. Okay, so real quick, let's just check, make sure everyone's on the right team. Some people have to get moved over. Uh, I see quite if... Oh, no, wait, that's my name. Zang needs to get moved. Okay. Zim, Little. Hang on. Jinto, Zeg. Zeg. Uh, did they still need to get moved? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Make okay. a note um, that says all... It says all seven caps should be on allies now, and all axes should be by one. Okay, all seventh caps should be... No, no, no. You just say all by one should be on the axis side. So just say, and put in TSB like, by one, TL should be on this team. I'm starting to swap people. So it's going to take a bit. There's yep. quite a few of them. I wish there was like I can select multiple people to swap sides. Yep. That'd be nice. Looks like most people are figuring it out. All right. Actually, it looks pretty good. Uh, BR1 Pepper has to get swapped. I think swapped. that was the last one. BR1 Pepper. Say. BR1 Pepper has to get swapped. Copy. That's the only one on the other side. Yeah. Um, also, there's one more after that. Uh, also, ISO SYS 86. ISO says 86 TL needs to swap. ISO, ISO is this 86. <laughs> yeah. Huh. He's got a VAC ban. <laughs> and then Chemist Ben from TL. Yep, I see him. Swapping him. He has oh. been swapped. Okay, looks like that side's good. Okay, now the other side. I've gone through the list. I believe that is everybody. Uh, Kellogg's needs oh, to Kellogg's be just, yeah. yep. Switch over Kellogg's. Yep. I saw him right as he popped in. <laughs> I keep looking at Sparrow and thinking, ah, he needs to move. <laughs> okay. So, Strider, you're on that side, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so 39, and then it looks like the Cav has lost yeah. two or three guys. But whatever. So we'll flip. Uh, just let them know we'll flip live in um, about two minutes. Yeah. Since we're going to cut this, yeah, I don't... We're fucking terrible at falling back. Right. Like, we're so bad. Like, we we love to continue attacking even when, like, the point's about to be lost. Like, never play alone. All they did was fall back when it was time. That's definitely the one thing that uh the Cav is horrendous at. So it looks like by one is good... What's GRG mean? Roger. Okay. All right. Uh, one RGR. more warning until we flip. Seconds. Are you jumping end of 
command sparrow to listen. What do you mean listen? Somebody was asking if Sparrow could hear I, command. I, I, I no, turned it up. Okay, what's the timer? What time is it in game? Okay, I can flip the map. Alright, Saint Mary Glees, Warfare. And we're live. Okay. Yeah, don't even worry about it. If they have any questions, use text chat. And if they if they have any concerns, we'll handle it after the match. We're not going to do any back and forth while the match is going. Okay, Sparrow? Mm -hmm. It's too confusing. It's too time-consuming, too. Yeah, so Sparrow, just, just mute and use text chat if they have any questions. Otherwise, let's just focus on running the matches. Uh, that's fair. You copy? Yeah, I copy. Okay. Yeah, because we, we don't have to get into any kind of disagreements and stuff that all can get passed afterwards. All right, match two. All righty, Sparrow, you want to give your opening spiel? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round one, match two of the HLL IASP tournament. This is a charity tournament to raise money for the International Association of Suicide Prevention, whose goal is to help it with suicide prevention and suicide and suicidal intervention to make sure that nobody does that to themselves and their loved ones. Joined with me, I have First Lieutenant Rob. Hello. Sec I was about to say Second Lieutenant Strider. Corporal Strider. I got an upgrade. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here with me, Corporal Sparrow. All right. And we're about to begin the second match between the seventh cap and the big red one. Slash the line. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, so this time instead of being on the north side, we're on the south side. Nice. Swipping it up. It's actually the same map layer, just like reverse. That's pretty interesting. We'll see if. Uh... BR goes for the same tactics. It looks like they're still going for that sneaky flank with the light view. Yeah, it looks like Seven Cav has gotten their vehicles maybe a little bit more worked out this time. They're all playing, they're all going pretty much right to the checkpoint. Bright one is starting to make some progress, getting close. We'll see where All I end right. up. Big Red One's going to want to talk after the match. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take care of it. You guys don't have to worry about it. It's just Mackie talking about us punishing for being in the HQ. Or in the side HQ, anyways. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just handle it after. No big deal. I mean, you didn't do anything. Like, you just asked him to yeah. move out. So, it's fine. It's part of the rules. So Bright One has a pretty commanding presence going into checkpoint far ahead of Seven Cav. So Seven Cav once again lost a transport vehicle for getting stuck. So driving is something they're gonna have to figure out here in the future. Driving's hard. It right? is very driving hard. is hard, especially in this map. You never know. It, it's one of those maps Ooh, that you looks wouldn't like the light vehicle found the forward transport truck that yeah Seven it Cav was brought up. it was stuck so it was, it was devoid of use. Uh, that's fine. There's nobody in. Doesn't look like the light vehicle pushed as far in. Uh, it doesn't look like. Yeah, but using if the you're looking tactic. at where they put it, it's like exactly where it needs to be to intercept any kind of exactly. vehicles. 
Bravo One now is making their massive push into point, and their pan and their uh, looks like that's a Sherman coming up behind the Lux. Sherman, yep, Sherman's coming up. Yeah, looks like a Tiger's gonna roll in for the Cav, probably to possibly take out that light vehicle. Yeah, sudden and Cav right now just has a much more like. Oh, sorry. Big Red One has a much more commanding presence on the point right now compared to Definitely. 7 Cav. Cav is playing a little bit defensively. I think they're a little bit spooked after seeing those tactics in the last match. They're playing a lot more grouped up and more concerted pushes. Not bad call. I would say I would definitely play a more defensive approach in this next round. Hmm. So I see two armor being fielded this time by Bri One already. Do they have more elsewhere that I'm not seeing? I'm just curious how many are running this. Uh, time. there's a recon vehicle and a medium tank inside of the city, and then there's two tanks on the southern edge along the map. Nice. Yeah, seven cav is it looks like a recon vehicle and a seventy six or seventy five. Yeah, Big Red One has a 75 right now, covering oh, the 7th cab approach. Not the Tiger, my bad. Yeah, he yep. to the Tiger on a faction pan. crit. On the got a little in a really steward. good position. It's giving the cab a hard time uh, just sitting out here in this field. It might be Although in trouble here. Yeah, it's about to die here. <laughs> you have lived a valiant life. Goodbye, Mr. Ooh. T1. <laughs> Honestly, did his job, took out the supply truck, really stunted the advance. Like, good work to that crew. Cav is bringing out the recon vehicle, which is interesting. And it's gone. It's I don't gone. think they saw that that 75 up there. Or else how how do you not see up. the 75? It's huge. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's more. It was holding its fire, really. It wasn't doing anything except firing machine guns. And yeah. that light tank had the squads pinned down, so they might not have seen it. Yeah. Oh, Heberlick's Hever like coming in here. The tank. I... Oh, there he goes. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty condensed fight on point. Um, Bright One has very commanding presence at this point on checkpoint, so. Yeah, well, Big Red One doesn't do. Like, they have four garrisons, and they're really, really spread out. Like, not even really around the point. They have one, on, one off point to the north, and the rest are in the G line. Just five, six, and seven. Mm. Yeah, the rest of them are. They do the small three-man, two-man squads, so they have a lot of OPs. Mm-hmm. And they're all out everywhere to the south of the point. And that tie we have a Tiger versus 76 fight ongoing in the south. Ooh, what a bounce. Wow, that was cool. Ooh, bounce Ooh, one, second the Tiger does, does not take no for an answer. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. 75. <laughs> that flank is wide open now with that 75 there gone. It looks like the Cavs going to start pushing it up the Canal Creeks. Yeah, the 7 Cav doesn't look like they have anyone on defense. It looks like a Bri-1 is starting to move in. Yeah, well, Big Red 1 only has like the, the one squad there. Artillery is pounding that point. It looks like Artillery just got a friendly kill, so now it's only one on the point here. They ruined a Gambo. Gambosville? Gambo. Gambo. I'm just gonna call it Jambalaya. <laughs> that uh, tiger is playing Killing spicy. Gumbo. Tiger's gonna get blown up here real quick. I mean, as long he as he doesn't face... his side arm. Yeah, as I say, as long as he doesn't point his side to the AT, he's fine. But uh. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna do that here though. Yeah, like... that's definitely not the move. I don't know how that's gonna work out. What's that monk? Monk is just going like mm, tiger time. Tiger butt. It's yep. the tastiest butt ever. All right. <laughs> Seven Cav needs to push up with this tiger, uh, giving them. Oh, what the f the moves on that tiger! Right, they're playing. Speed. Yeah, they're playing the Vendetta game. A little game. bit faster. <laughs> and here they go. They get shot in the butt because they overextended. It's pretty funny. Monk monks. A little too aggressive there. Oh, All they need to do is oh, just put oh, there. Monk, yeah, monk. There he goes. That that he buff 
is so deadly. 20 meters on that is just, it's just ridiculous. Ooh, oh, but there ooh. it goes with a sneaky 76 across the map. What a shot. What a shot. That was an interesting play from the Tiger. <laughs> Good on them. What a shot, though. That was... He must have barely been able to see. Yeah, but Big Red One has a solid front line going. Big Red One has a great defense. They're not worried about offense. All they need to do is just hold this center, this center cap and just sit back. It's a good push, it seems, coming from the Cav on the northeast side. Just occurred to me, I had the whole stinking UI still up. <laughs> oh, I think I've had yeah, my UI up the, the whole, the the whole time. Match. I've never <laughs> taken the UI off, I just keep it up. It's too easy. I, to be fair, it's easy to ignore. Yeah, it's not really a big deal, I find. I feel like they did a good job with it. Uh, Sparrow, they you got a supply time truck going? sneaking past? Dude, I love Look it. At Look at that sneaky supply truck. You go, Bri one. Southeast. He's just like, I'm just, don't mind me, boys. I'm just gonna go put a garrison behind your point. Wow, that airhead way deep in Charlie 8 for BR1. It looks like they're gonna put a garrison up there somehow. It's, it looks like it's gone completely unnoticed. No response to it, no no ping. Nothing. Does look like our back or the seven cam back garrison has been spotted in this cornfield. Oh we got dual bombing runs here. I'm using them off cooldown. We'll see which one will be used to more effect. Yeah, it didn't seem like either got a whole lot out of it. Mm -mm. I think the biggest problem for some cab is the fact that because Big Red won and the line play with such small squads, they just have so many more places they can spawn than the seven cab does. I'll be honest, I don't even feel like hard that's, to contain. I don't even think that's like a big difference though, because even you know if you have those condensed squads, when the seven cab you see a lot of six on twos. So seven caps should win those fights and, and take space, and they do. They're just not really getting their building. Like their garrison placement isn't really getting after it. Like they only have two garrisons at the moment, or now three with one locked out. Yeah, you know, it really is just a, a garrison game. And then the opening move didn't work out so great in round one, which is fine. Except in in round one when it came time to play defense and get back on point, they were they just never responded. So it was an easy cap. That and it doesn't help when one of your garrisons is completely overwhelmed. Yeah, I would say the more the biggest difference factor right now is the armor. The armor effectiveness for Gry One has been fantastic. Like really huge credit going out to those armor guys. Just Definitely, absolutely getting it done. I don't really see much of a mismatch between multiple OPs. It doesn't seem like Gry One is getting much more coverage. Like both teams are basically running into, you know, their big gunfights. Well, we've got a gray well, cat like here. Circle in a panther. Right now, well, it looks like BR1's Brian, pushing into the point. Yeah, with no putting resistance. A, a big that easy garrison. push. Yeah, with that garrison being overrun and capped and then eventually taken down, it's just seven cav has to run so far to get onto the point. And then OP's going down. There's just nothing to fall back to. Jesus, who's in this tank for the seventh cab in this Panther? Because this Where's is embarrassing. Panther? It's right let's next keep to the... it. Let's keep it positive. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> what? <laughs> that Greyhound's Great... just putting in work is what's really happening. Yeah. And you're like, flip the tank. Like. That Greyhound. Oh, yeah. They've they been just doing got that. some crazy drivers getting after it. Oh, there we go. They finally got it. Sorry, that was just too, too amusing. Well, we're gonna have another tiger showdown with a uh, probably what's that medium in the south or heavy? That is a heavy. Yeah, about to have a showdown. Where is it? Like right over it. It's um kind of near the oh, edge of the map. Oh, there's the tiger. 
Monk Monk is looking for the tiger again. Oh, Monk Monk has been that tiger's nemesis. Another real yeah. hit. That tiger needs to turn around. He's going to get shot. Monk Monk's just lining up the shot. He sends it. Oh, oh he and he got it. it. Good shot from Monk Monk. For a minute on my screen, it looked like the model was about to flip. Yep. Said so that we're getting cap progress on Rudu de Games, but once again. Cat still has a presence. Not a very big one, but it's still a presence. See, this is where you have to identify that you have to fall back. Like, once that cap progress is going, you, you have to go all in on defense. It's too short of the round to even come close to losing that point. Does seventh cap have anything near that point? I don't uh, think so. No, There's a garrison to are like C7, the west. D6. Yeah, they still have to run through that cornfield just to get over. So basically, and it's being Brian constantly one, grenaded. Yeah, Brad one has total control over the edge of the map now, with armor support. Looks like the Panthers starting to push into the point now, though. Yep. I don't think BR is going to take this. So it'll take a little bit uh, more. They still have that seventy six though that can counter the Panther. That's definitely a point, but I think that 76 that can't penetrate those buildings just yet. <laughs> One day. One day we will have destructible environments. Right now that 76 doesn't really have a lot to shoot at. It's just kind of holding that southern edge. Which is perfect, you know, covering all those can't push outposts back and, and everything. Those Looks there like 7 go. Cav is... Oh, covering all their outposts. Looks like 7 Cav actually has a squad that's getting in on the point. Brad one doesn't have a significant presses presence in they do not in the in the capture zone itself so we might see checkpoint cap progress coming in here soon from alpha that would be interesting but i'd almost rather we'll see, see alpha. how fast br1 can uh, flip yeah. back and start on defense right i'd almost rather see though alpha just turn around and try to help with that uh, with the really effective bright one pressure on rue but here comes some cap progress on checkpoint maybe back and forth it's definitely enough to make BR1 take notice. And now they've moved an armor support unit into the center. But Bright One has pretty. Looks like that Panther finally found the 76. Yeah. Bright One has pretty substantial pressure now on. That 76 has no idea where this Panther is. And the Panther doesn't know where the 76 is <laughs> never mind they're all looking I thought each other. shooting at each other but i guess it was just another rocket looks like the seven cav might be getting another garrison up on rue it would be really beneficial for them to do that yep they have three garrisons in the north the south is pretty well covered by the bread one that's guys. good oh another 75 is pushing in that panther is going to be able to see that 75 coming in yeah, see but, if it uh yeah let's get there's good amount of marks well. marks for it so they should be reacting oh 75 is presenting its <laughs> underbelly to the panther i guess getting stuck on fences so tough oh and it smoked itself trying to uh good move trying to get unstuck i think it's a panic smoke yeah, I, it's, it's kind of interesting how Bar One is playing this round because they don't have a lot of pressure on the offense, and they don't have a, too many guys in the cap point. They're really just now trying to cover the northern side. It looks like that city. They're just getting control points into the city to kind of shut down that approach. Seventy-five is starting to come out. It did a good job of smoking, but it is not in a great position. And there's another med just behind that first one in the field again. So Brad one has a really commanding presence on that south side. Panther, this 75 yeah. has no idea where the panther is. No, I think they do. They just keep bouncing. What the heck is going on? Oh, wait, no, the, they're just driving over it's, the tank. This is what's called face hugging. So now the panther can't shoot anything but the turret. But same 76. Or the 75. The problem with this is, is that the Panther got up over... There it goes. They got into it. Yeah. So the tactic fight. with that is just to try to lift up the enemy tank so you get the underglacius of the front. And the enemy tank can't shoot you if you're underneath it. So 
with the physics in this game being reworked so recently, it's it's been a tactic I've seen quite a bit, actually. Who won that combat, the Panther? Uh, no, 75. So the 75 is moving underneath, since it has a, a lower profile, it can get up underneath a Panther and lift it up. Especially if the Panther is not using its force against the 76. So in that case, you either have two options. You can press into the 75, sorry, not 76, and kind of do a kind of a tug of war type of deal and see who has who's going to get the grip first, who's going to get underneath who. Or you can reverse faster than the 75 can move since you're in a panther and get the shot in, which is what he did. Yeah, Bright One now has a commanding presence on Rue. Which squad and a half size element. Yeah, that push did not uh, stick in. And it looks like that panther is taking uh, even more <laughs> ET rocket. I think it's He's not having a good day. Oh, my, forgive me, I, that's a tiger, not a panther. And Brad One's also recondensed some points. Monk to Monk again. The, so I'm kidding. Yeah. of tigers. That Monk Monk Monk, mark my words, is gonna have like a thousand combat score if he keeps killing all these tigers. Too bad he missed his second shot. Now this he's tiger just tearing really it down. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> was that the panther? That was the panther one. Here we Close come the with the bombing run. <laughs> oh? That could be Bombing run where? Ooh, that's oh, an that's... interesting bombing run. Uh, and the 7 cav is now down to one garrison. That uh, is a good bombing run. I think it's gonna whiff, honestly. It doesn't seem like it. It whiff, but it cut off that advance to give the R1 a good chance to maybe clear some of these guys off the point. This tiger needs to get out of there. He's just surrounded by AT guy. Yeah, I'm surprised by one's not getting much cap progress on Rue. They were they've been in there. They have a pretty strong foothold. Well they're starting to get cap progress now. Yeah, it looks like some cav is actually able to get and get the position reestablished on Rue now finally. Mm -hmm. But Bro Most... one still has a lot of pressure in the north. If that tiger did anything, it did a good job distracting about four to five guys, having it chase them through the upper fields, getting them off the strong point. You know the best thing about that? That tiger is uh, Jinto and Profano, so you can just imagine right. Jinto is losing his or Profano's losing his mind. Yep. Great thing is, is that Jinto jumped out and gunned down the uh, AT guy in the cornfield. <laughs> hey, it works. So, there might be some cap progress. It seems like on Definitely. checkpoint. Maybe? Ooh, checkpoint is contested. Yeah, it's back and forth. Definitely is. There's only two guys, from what I can tell, on top of checkpoint. Yeah, there's a uh, lot of fighting. Really a lot of fighting. Of it. It's weird. A lot of fighting is going on outside the cap zone. Like both teams are really trying to hold that northern side of the town and not committing too too much to the strong point itself. Oh, it looks like that 76 starting to push up into a good shelling position on that uh, cornfield where the seven cav garrison's at, though. Yeah, and that's their lone remaining garrison for the seven cav. Hmm. Rue is contested. Yep, Brad One has a pretty um, commanding VR's, presence on both Oh my points. gosh, that artillery shell. Wow. Just killed four or five people in one shot. Brutal. They got it drilled in. Brad this One's also taking another go off job. The BR1. There's not much of a CAV response to this. Yep. I mean, they got the a... artillery shell, man. They got a Puma and Comar pushing up. And Brad One sneaking a supply truck out the back again to try to get... Oh, but they've got Puma's it. about to get seven... one shot from the 76 as soon as it figures out where it's at. That Puma has no idea there's a 76 off to the south side. Oh, here we go. Set Cav is finally starting to push back in. Maybe they can hold it. Yeah, just constant reinforce from the command has kind oh, of Oh, here goes the this. Puma. There it goes. Bye bye. Yeah. I don't think we. I don't think the <laughs> the recon vehicle meta has been established. It seems like it's having a hard time oh. getting much done. <laughs> no, it, 
No, the one big red one was using their recon vehicle. They did an excellent job actually utilizing it. They used it more as a deep flank vehicle. Garrison destroyer. Yeah. Yep. Which is, I guess, how it should be used to move in the same way as recon. Oh man, that HE is disgusting. Ugh. I mean, there's only three remaining units on up by one on the point itself. And here comes the Oh, look, two. uh, Rue is still being contested, though. At first, I thought it was checkpoint. I got excited. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, they, it's just going to take a lot to push in. Yeah, uh, Headleg might be pushing this, uh, 76 into con. This might change the outcome, though. They nah, killed the 76. Oh, he's been spotted. oh they, they spotted him. He's he's gonna go down here now. Yeah, I waited too long to take a shot. Uh, Unlucky. Unfortunate. 76. I'm surprised they haven't gotten out to start repairing the 76 yet. Oh, is it heavily wounded? It is smoking and on fire. Yeah, unfortunate. He just needed to take that shot. He probably could have killed it. Uh, he took the shot, but he was going to ricochet off the front. There's there's just no way you're going to damage using rockets from the front of a tank anymore unless it's immediate. So, Rue just got capped. So, what time are we at? Uh, 1.04. So, that means 15 minutes would put us at, what, 49? Man, the armor is just brutal now. Oh, La Prairie is also getting capped. Is that recon yep, they, it's the, Yeah, it's Mackie's recon. It's just yep. Mackie. He's been sitting back there for... Yep, totally. Cool. Mackie's on the oh, point, and his uh, sniper, Loud Burp, is... He's pushed back a little bit, but... Yep, totally he's looking at artillery, though. I've been keeping an eye on him. Yeah. No, I did the same thing. I locked onto him for a second. Yeah, and the sun kept moving just chilling, now. waiting just... for the big push, I guess. Oh, my God. That's they a good nothing. strat. Yeah, that's a good strat because what it does is it forces a complete reset, so you can't even do much about, you know, the rear. Well, today I learned a different build, another building I can get on top of. <laughs> Mackie is sitting up on top of one of the roofs inside of the point that I did not know you could get up on. I'm trying to see how he did it. Yeah, I think I know how. He probably got on the wall to, uh,. The southwest here, and then probably jumped up on this corner. Yeah, all those, all those buildings are so goofy now. You can like vault in weird ways to get up there. He's in a good spot because I doubt I, any of us know to I just upon that at all. I just want to make sure because there seems to be some nervousness or for the BR one guys about Mackie's position. So Mackie's good because he's not spawn camping. Yeah, Mackie's right. fine. He's playing the objective. Yeah. Like, that's fine. You just can't be, like, killing people within, like, 10 seconds of them spawning at main. Yeah. Like, he's exactly where he should be. You know? And he just got taken out, too. But that's what you want to do. Like, you want to use that recon to put pressure on. That's, exactly. like, a completely legitimate strategy. Like, force the other team to react. Because now the entire 7th Cap team now reacts to the prey. <laughs> so they completely gave up any hope on reassaulting Rue. The R1 is definitely pushed up. Well, it's hard not to be at this point because the 7 Cat yep. has given up the, all that space, so they're going to have to. It's going to be a little tricky for them to tow that line now. Mm hmm. Learn something new every day. Now the good thing though about this set though is you can't they can't cap La Prairie so really this is where you can do some pretty pretty significant flanks and take those long flanks as you please and right now Seven Cav actually is building garrisons along that flanking maneuver on Rue to hopefully give to maybe try to give them some hope of getting a flank on. Oh, 
currently looks like three tanks are on the field now. Let's see if this... Oh, this panther is in a really bad position. He is... He had his side on to a 76. Thankfully, the 76 wasn't able to see him. Well, he sees him now, though. Definitely does. Oh, no. Well, that must be another panther. Yep. Well, there's a 75 yeah. pushing up. It's a 75 and a 76. That just took out that panther. Yeah, and Brad 1 has a nice command over the, uh, the strong point. Yeah, they're pushed up right to the line. Oh, when did they cap? Uh, I got it. It's, uh... He's got the timer. One know, uh, you can let Brian 1 know that they need to hold to the 49 minute mark. 10 minute. Uh, let me just double check that. Uh, 49 minute mark, yep. And Brad 1 actually doing a pretty good job sniffing out some of those garrisons some cap put on the flank, but... It's tricky with that 100 meters, it makes it pretty easy to lock out those garrisons. Yeah, it really does. And they, did they clear the garrisons, or did they just lock them down? Uh, they're just locking them down. And they probably don't even know that they're there. Likely. Looks like both armors, actually, both Bright One armors are moving to counter this panther moved up on the south side mm -hmm. of Rue. Panther is about to have a really bad day. Well, neither of those guys are. He's in a decent spot, ATs. but he's about to have three tanks shooting at him at once. Oh yeah, that's gonna be painful. Brad one sniffs the blood in the water. <laughs> yes, yes, they do. Oh, bombing run, interesting. Oh, another bombing run though. That's for Cav. Ooh. Is that a Cav bombing run? No, that was. That is that's a, a VR one, and it's about to get a lot of kills there. Looks like everyone's uh, except for they're all in buildings, so never mind. That's spooky. Good, good bombing run, but they're able to dodge it. Oh, panther versus a medium here. Ooh, first hit goes to the medium. Yep. Panther whips. That panther is In not trouble. reacting very well. He moved and didn't allow his gunner to focus on target here. Uh, we might want to pull that tank back. It looks like it's getting pretty close. No, it, it's it okay. Good? Okay, yeah, it's cool. okay. Right on. Hey, it doesn't look like they're moving. They're just still. Yep. They're just pounding a. They're pounding something in the bush here. Yeah, I think it's a supply vehicle. Oh, actually, there's a. Uh, <laughs> there's an OP there. Not for long. Ah. Uh, let's say here goes Hayden. <laughs> Nah, he's dead. And then maybe we just gotta watch the south side. This look like they're getting pretty close to the line. On the one's yeah. over. Yeah, maybe just give them a quick shout out just to fall back a little bit. If they're over. Yeah, maybe just let J Real know real quick that they're they're on the line just to pull back. Yeah, they're moving back, they're good to go. It's tough, they're going for those kills, man. They, they're like hungry for it. Some Cav is pretty much totally locked up on the prairie and not getting anywhere. I gave them a warning on the south side. Yep, yep, they're good, they're good. Yeah, I gotta say, Big Red wants uh, armor is just oh, it's... devastating. Like, mm. I'm wondering, like, I think we need to have a tank v tank only operation. That would be sweet. As uh, we, a tanker, I would totally be down. We've done that like three times. Yeah. It's been a yeah. while since the last one, though. True. Yeah, but we've also never recorded it with the admin cam. True. So we can actually see how our tanks operate. There's a. Uh, in this round, I Ooh. took a ricochet. And I'm like way up next to the skyline, and I took it through the face because <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a tank shot, ricocheted off another tank, and it went whizzing right through. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the 76 here. Just take ricochet after ricochet from different rockets. 
It's all about angling now. As it should be. And rockets to the front will not hurt a tank. Unless you're a medium or a light tank. And even then, if you're angled, it'll ricochet. Now, for tanks, you have to shoot behind them or to the side of the Two rockets to the side or behind will kill a tank. And that's 76. It's got two, uh, two engineers on him. Yeah. The hard part about this is that it's just, there's no response to the arm. It's just too overwhelming at this point. Yeah, I think I think the Bry One, if I'm gonna mark, you know, the strategy of the game, it's the armor superiority by Bry One. There has not been an answer Definitely. to it. Definitely. I don't think I mean, kudos to them for doing the two man squads, it's fine. Um, but I don't think that's the difference really. The difference is just the the armor the superiority. The sheer amount of tanks that they fielded. Yeah, and they, they pushed it out they had five armor squads and five armor crews. Yeah, and, and they did five tanks. And it's been so effective because they haven't lost enough armor to really warrant being worried about their. Yeah, they're at 553 fuel. Yep, so they're they're not hemorrhaging yeah. armor so they can afford. Oh man, look, the little puma is gonna try and take out the big old tank. <laughs> it's a cat and mouse game right now. Click. Yeah, except it's definitely not gonna do it. Like. Unless it's able to get behind the oh, tank here, yeah. but it's exactly. gonna get called it out here. Use its, it's it's mobility. Oh, you know what? But that's the thing. Right here. Uh, yep, there we go. And he ricocheted. He no. hit the turret instead of the. Now oh, he's gonna really? die to the. Yep, there he goes. Uh, yeah, gotta keep moving there. It can't stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. that the, the two man tank there just beat the fully equipped Puma. Just by. Swapping really quick and swinging the thing around. I mean, it's not hard too if you're Puma versus a 70. What is that? Is that heavy? Or well, that's a two man tank. They didn't swap. It's a uh, heavy. Yeah, I would not really expect the Puma to win that. <laughs> Puma needs to hit the tracks. It needs to hit the tracks twice for it to do anything. Unfortunately. What time did we say? 49. Okay, 49. I don't know about y'all, but this is hard to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, oh, man. It, like I said, it's it's real simple. Seven so Cav has to build garrisons and answer against the armor. And by one, your armor guys are your heroes right now. Jesus, man. Yeah. Made it too easy. I feel bad as an armor guy. Because there's really no armor at all. Like, we you have what? one armor I, crew. I, as an armor guy, I, I have to ask. All mm. right. At the ire of every other armor squad leader out there in the seventh cav, what's wrong with the seventh cav armor? Uh, not enough guys show up to operation. <laughs> if you I look mean, at our armor crews right now. To be so honest, the armor... two armor crews. Yeah, the armor there's crews one, two, three armor guys. Yeah. And but, two tanks. But that's not even the issue, right? It's like you're trying to match a one armor crew and a Puma versus four meds. Like, that's a exactly. command level decision. You have to recognize that, holy Christ, they have all these armors on the field and we're not winning that fight. We need to get more heavy tanks and we need to play a little more defensive and beat and win, those, win against those tanks. Because a few times 7 Cav actually had successful pushes was when they were able to deal with the armor. So mm -hmm. the commitment to the recon vehicle here, I think, is, is going to be a big misstep. And upon review, I think they're going to recognize that's just not a winning strategy. You know, the recon vehicle is a nice, like, maybe early move. Well, it's, a, it's a move of desperation here. I, yeah. I don't think that they were using it just to use it. I think they were using it because they were losing armor too fast that they just didn't have enough vehicle. Yeah, and that's what's really tricky when you're pushed this far back. You can't get any fuel nodes or anything on no fuel nuds exactly. You're dying constantly. The 76 is, comp is it was overpowered before update nine. Now it is insane. But you saw there the drive one still had the armor superiority with the tigers and the panthers. Like they were really they definitely. After. But that was also because they outnumbered the 76s. By the yeah. time it with their uh, super aggressive push with the armor, knocking out transport vehicles and um, support you... vehicles. Let's use this moment to do a score check because it's pretty. Gotcha. That's pretty much game. We got a minute forty-five until map clip and close. And good stuff to Bry one another five-one victory. 
Let's see how much yeah. these armor crews got. So, got a thousand combat effectiveness of one armor squad. You've got the max. 1400. 1400 is their highest combat effectiveness. Yeah. They put in a ton of work here. I mean, yeah. It just goes to impressive. show how strong armor can be. Especially on open maps like that. It feels like in any game, if you can at least match the armor, like if you can't win the armor game, there there's just maps where you can't win. Yeah, this is a very armor superiority in this open field contest is massive. But then again, it also show goes to show that whoever has to do the moving is probably going to lose. Most of the armor fights that I saw, BR1 was in a good position and just waiting for the, the cav armor just to come around a corner. And the cav armor was either too aggressive or just poorly positioned. Yep. So Bad we'll, reactions, it seemed, we'll, on some of those fights. Yep, so we'll flip and finish this in 20 seconds. And I'll get with, and I'll reach out to the Brad one guys and, and just square them away. And make sure those rules are all, make sure that they're good okay. with the rule set. And uh, yeah, okay. be good to go. Yeah, I probably could have been harder with the rules, but I didn't want to punish anybody because for Big yeah. Red One, this is their first time with the rule set, so I didn't want to be like. Yeah, you can be chill. Okay. And so. and honestly, they followed the rules. The the he just misunderstood the rules, and once yeah. he understood it. He was like, oh, okay. Yep. And, and he followed it afterwards. Yep, that's yeah. a match. So let's kill the recording. And GG's. GG.